Well, another troubling incident is prompting more questions about the Aurora Police Department. In this case, critics are asking how one of the officers got hired in the first place. John Hobart and Francine Martinez were arrested and fired after a violent encounter last week. Body cam video shows Hobart repeatedly hitting a man with his gun. He's now facing felony assault charges. Martinez charged with failing to report that attack. Karen Morfitt joins us from Aurora tonight. Karen, a lot of questions about this troubled department and why bad behavior continues. Well, and this is coming from community members who were actually told to pinpoint areas within the department that need work. Now, those uh, community members say they've done that without little response from the city. Stop Disturbing video of Aurora police officer John Hobart repeatedly pistol whipping a man as fellow officer Francine Martinez watches is reigniting calls for department wide changes. It is time to act now. We can no longer sit back and wait on all these investigations. Omar Montgomery is a member of the community policing task force formed by the city to identify problem areas within APD. Their recommendations start from the ground up. We want more eyes on who's being um, hired and who's being um, disciplined and what that process is like. In this most recent case, Officer Hobart was hired by the city's Civil Service Commission despite having a prior arrest for pointing a shotgun at his roommate while drinking. In a statement, the commission said, Colorado Post reviews the criminal background of all officers applying to be post certified, and this officer passed that review. According to Post, anyone convicted of a felony or domestic abuse and about a dozen misdemeanor crimes will not be certified. But there are others, which is why Hobart's previous arrest didn't come to light until now. In a statement, the city says we intend to evaluate the background process currently in place and how to ensure decisions regarding hiring public servants will have the best possible outcome for the community. Now, Officer Hobart, we know, is on leave without pay. Martinez is also on leave, but with pay, both are in line with the department's current policies. For now, we're live in Aurora. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Karen